Welcome to Weekly and TV. I'm your host, Jason San Marco. It's my co host, Eddie San Marco. What up? This is week two in our new studio. Got the green screen behind us here. We're going to try to get that going for you in the next couple of videos. If you don't see it for this video, then you know it's. It, it probably won't be for the next video, but it will be for the next video. I don't know what video we're going to do it on. We got a lot of great stories for you today. We got some serious ones, too. A lot of serious stories today as well. And some fun ones. Some fun ones, some some goofy ones. We got yeah. uh, Kathy Adams, who's the former Texas GOP chair, talking about end times. We have... Uh, Louis Gomer. We have a, a, a long story about Louis Gomer, and we it's always fun to talk about Louis Gomer and make fun of Louis Gomer when we can. We have a story about uh, Acorn. I don't know why we st- are still talking about Acorn, but we are. And we're going to talk about Chris Brown. As well as McDonald's. Yep. Entitlement programs, marijuana, and uh, sequester stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, first story is Kathy Adams, who is the former Texas GOP chair, um, is against the immigration reform bill. Not surprising. Surprise, surprise. She's a former Texas Republican, uh, and she uh, was on the GOP chair from 2009 to 2010. Uh, and now she's against the bill, of course. Uh, she was talking with Christian radio host Rick uh, Wiles last week on the Right Wing Watch, and she was discussing the biometric scanning that was inside of the bill. I love how she goes into a Christian radio station yeah. to talk about immigration. Right. I mean, th- she couldn't have gone to, I don't know, CNN? She could have gone anywhere. She g- <laughs> Yeah, really. She could have gone anywhere to talk about immigration. Apparently. She decided to go to a Christian radio station, yeah. which I guess is fine, but it just it's just interesting to me the, where she goes. Right. Well, I mean, that's where she's best suited. That's where her base yeah. is, yeah. right? Especially when you hear her quotes here. Okay. Uh, so she was talking about the biometric scanning, which is it's not in this bill, okay? But All right. I have a quote here uh, from her that says uh, that she just – that what this would do is give amnesty to the pe- the people from Muslim countries who are, quote, not here with the best intentions for America. How does she know what their intentions are? Well, she doesn't know. What she does is she assumes that all Muslims are uh, radicals, which they're not. You, we obviously no. know they're not. There's a lot of Muslims that live here. There's the majority of, of Muslims. Yeah. I mean, let's keep it real. There's like two billion Muslims right. in the world. Yeah. The vast, vast, vast majority of them are not fundamentalists. Right. They're just, they want to practice their religion, mm-hmm. but the vast, vast, vast majority, almost all of them, mm-hmm. are not fundamentalists. Right. We're starting to veer them into that by what we're doing with drone programs and all mm-hmm. the wars, but... Foreign s- Muslims. Foreign. Yeah. In, in Muslims that are in the Middle East. Right. We're starting to make them hate us, but the ones that are coming here are ones who want to be Americans. Yes. So or want a better opportunity than they're getting in their Right. They're country. not trying to come here to bomb us. They're, cu- they're coming here to have a better opportunity, and their family has a better opportunity. Right. Sorry, because go ahead and continue. So uh, she okay. referred to um, the Muslims as lost foreigners, the ones that are here, lost foreigners. And uh, she claimed that the biometric scans would, would create a, a mark, quote, mark of the beast, uh, which is, you know, of, you, of course, you know, in apocalypse, mm-hmm. end times, prophecies from the Bible. She has another quote here, and of course, we know in (coughs) biblical prophecy that this that this is that that is the end of times. I'm sorry, that that is the end times. Once the mark of the beast shows itself, yes, that is going to be the brand either, (coughs) excuse me, on our foreheads or on the back of our hands. That is demonic through and through. That is end times prophecy. There is no question about that. Uh, So. Here's here's my problem. She's no longer in office, right? She she's former GOP chair. Good. Okay. And she's she's she has not held that position uh, for three years now. I I don't understand why religion this uh, um, level of religion is associated with politics at all. It should not be. Right. It's it's supposed to be separate, but these uh, these right wingers seem to think that the more Bible thumping they can do. The more religion they can cram into their speeches and their legislation, the better off they're going to be. Well, the better off they are going to be. Right. The second that people start <coughs> getting ac- any information, the worse off they are. Yeah, but I think it's a I think it's a perfect strategy because if they say, Bible, 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 mm-hmm. God, 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 yeah. and then someone says, what about science? They go, nope, 
There's no science. There are some people on the science committee. Yeah. That don't believe in science. Well, I mean, that's just because they're bottom Because they're right wingers. Yeah. They're fundamentalist right wingers. Yeah. And they are now Bible thumping the shit out of everybody. Right. So under the plan, there's no biometric scan. Right. There was a proposal for something similar, which is not in the bill. But what is in the bill... It's no longer in the bill? It never was in the bill. Oh. Okay. So there's no branding of immigrants. What they wanted to do was just fingerprint Mm -hmm. immigrants that are leaving a specific 30 airports to go from the United States outside the United States. I I don't agree with that at all. I also don't agree, but that's what was in the bill. But it's no longer there. The Uh, fingerprint thing is no longer in the bill? The fingerprint is still in the bill. I, I don't like that at all. They could they could be on work visas. They could be students. Mm-hmm. They could be in the process of getting citizenships. They could be citizens, right? And uh, they then they have to get their fingerprint mm-hmm. before they maybe go visit family overseas, right? And is it only people that look like they're Muslim, or is it people from Europe and Ireland and Canada? I would assume that it's it's their their immigration status, whether or not they're legal, whether or not they well, if they're illegal, then right. they're is going to be uh, they're going to have a hard time <laughs> taking an airplane, right? Uh, she has one more quote. She says, Muslim, Hindu, and Buddhist cultures, uh, she's accusing them of wanting to bring Sharia law, which if she knew anything Muslim, Hindu, and Buddhist, they have completely different ideologies. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. they constantly clash. No, they fight con- They fight all the time. Yeah. Hindus and Buddhists, they fight against Sharia law. Right. Constantly. This, it's just these types of uh, politicians that they, they don't know what they're talking about, and they seem to hold up a position of office for a, a long period of time because it's not just her and the one year. Mm-hmm. It's her and it's Louis Gomer and all these Bible... Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, exactly. They they don't seem to know much about policy. Right. And they still hold office, which I don't know. Well, they, they kind of write on the fact that people, some people are dumb enough mm-hmm. to say they hold office. Right. So they must know what they're talking about. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have a, a misinformation. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you have Fox News giving the wrong information to people who only watch Fox News because right. it has the word news when it's not actually news. It's propaganda. Yeah. And then they say, oh, well, Fox News told me that's what it is, and that's where they get their information. Therefore, now they're just spitting back the information that's being spoon-fed to them. Yep. Okay. Okay.